hello everyone so today we are going to see what is PL SQL and features of PL SQL and architecture of PL SQL so first is PL SQL stand for procedural language which is an extension of SQL and PL SQL was introduced in Oracle 6.0 version next SQL is a non processional language whereas PL SQL is a procedural language SQL supports a single line statement that is query execution process whereas PL SQL supports multi line statement that is program execution process so in the SQL we have seen that it is only support what single line statements but in PL SQL it will support the multi line statements next is in SQL every query statement is compiling and executing individually so that the number of compilation are increased and reduce the performance of database but in the PL SQL what happens all the SQL queries are grouped into a single block all the SQL queries are grouped into a single blocks and which will compile and execute only one time so that it will reduce the number of compilations and improve the performance of the database so these are the differences between SQL and PL SQL. So what are the features of PL SQL? Let us see. First is it improves the performance. Second is it supports the conditional and looping statements. In the SQL this will not happen. The conditional looping statement it will not support. Third one is it supports reusability. Fourth one is providing security because all the program are saved in database. An authorized user can only access the program next supporting portability that is PL SQL program can be moved from one platform to another platform without any changes six one is supporting exception handling mechanism and seventh one is supporting modular programming that is in an PL SQL a big problem can be divided into small modules which are called as store procedure and store function we will see further what are the procedure and function so last part is PL SQL architecture so PL SQL is a block structure programming language which is having the following two engines first one is SQL engine second one is PL SQL engine so what happen whenever we are submitting a PL SQL block into a Oracle server then all the SQL statements are separated and executing by SQL query executor within SQL engines so whereas all the PL SQL statement code are separated and executed by what PL SQL code executor within the PL SQL engine so in the PL SQL architecture there are two engines first one is SQL engine and second one is PL SQL engine so what happened whenever we are submitting a PL SQL block into Oracle server then all the SQL statement are separated and executing by SQL query executor so all the SQL statement are separate and that are executed by the SQL query executor which is present in the what SQL engine and where are, whereas all the PL SQL statements are separated and executed by what PL SQL engine so this is architecture in the next video we will see the blocks in the PLC code.